Yo, what's up, body bags? Uh, we're reviewing a movie today. It's not really horror, but could be in that same category, and it's the Garbage Pail Kids movie. Um, this came out in 1987. Uh, during the height of the popularity of the Garbage Pail Kid cards, which I remember collecting when I was a little kid, and I, for some reason I never saw this movie, but uh, I went to Grindhouse Video recently, and this was sitting used there, so I decided now was the time to check it out. Um... And I gotta say, I was pretty hyped for it for some reason. I was expecting it to be a lot more fun than it actually was. But I gotta say, off the bat, this movie is terrible, terrible. It's not even enjoyable, even a little bit, in my opinion. Um, it's literally a piece of garbage. Uh, no pun intended, but yeah, this movie sucks. Uh, essentially, Sean Astin's brother, Mackenzie Astin, is the main kid. And he gets picked on and bullied and all that, and he is best friends with this antique shop owner, Captain Manzini, and uh, Captain Manzini tells him don't ever open this uh, garbage pail that's in this antique shop. And of course, uh, he opens it, and the garbage pail kids end up being unleashed, and he has his crush on this girl who, like, peddles uh, outfits and stuff or custom-made clothes at a nightclub, and she's dating the big bully dude, and... Uh, I mean, that kind of stuff doesn't really even matter, but it's just these little plot points in it. And, uh, you know, the Garbage Pail Kids end up helping him get the girl and blah, blah, blah. That's pretty much it. Um, the movie is just super boring. It's about 15, 20 minutes too long because this thing runs like an hour and 40 minutes. And it's just, this needs to be like an hour, 20 minutes tops just because it's really brutal to sit through. There's a couple, like, uh, song and dance numbers the Garbage Pail Kids do, and it's just brutal to sit through. Um, I think one plus about this, I think the Garbage Pail Kids look a lot like they do in the cards, so the makeup effects and stuff were pretty decent for this movie, I thought. They did a good job at portraying them. Um, I thought the Greaser Garbage Pail Kid was probably the coolest out of all of them, but a lot of them were just super annoying. Like, one of them just farts the whole time, and it's just, it's really juvenile and just stupid. Uh, I don't regret buying it, because I'm glad to have it in the collection and stuff, but I definitely don't recommend picking this up, unless you're, like, ready for a really terrible, terrible movie. Uh, I really only pick this up just to listen to some podcasts and stuff that uh, review this movie, just for, like, the laugh of it, and I wanted to listen to them, so I figured I gotta watch it first. And uh, so, I mean, I'm glad I can cross it off the list. It's another Scream Factory crossed off the list. Now, the Blu-ray transfer looked decent. It wasn't the best Scream Factory transfer i ever seen. There was a lot of grain. Uh, there was some softness in it and stuff. But overall, it was okay. Uh, I can't compare it to the old DVD because I never saw it. But uh, it is what it is. It's an okay transfer. I also think the special features are really lacking. Uh, there's a new, like, half-hour interview with uh, Mackenzie Aston. It's kind of cool. Um, an interview with the makeup effects, which is kind of cool. And a uh, theatrical trailer. And that's literally it. So, in my opinion, this didn't really have any business being a collector's edition. It should have just been a regular release. Because there's not enough features to really make it a special edition. But it, it, it really it is what it is. But this is the reverse art they use, the original poster art. So... Yeah, that's Garbage Pail Kids movie. Not much I can really say about it. I don't recommend it to anybody. Um, and it's really hard to sit through. It's just boring. It's excruciatingly annoying. Um, in my opinion, it, it doesn't really represent the Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, really, I mean, they look like them, but it doesn't really represent it really because it's... When, the Garbage Pail Kids, to me, always were kind of more adult-like humor, even though it's really sick and juvenile stuff. They're more, like, I guess, raunchy kind of humor and stuff. But this is, like, trying to be a little kid, like, really little kid movie. And uh, it, it it's just a really weird, bizarre kind of line it has to cross between being a really kid's silly movie and then having the gross out humor and it's almost this movie would have been a lot better if it was geared towards older teenagers maybe even adults with some more horror elements this could have been a really fun movie but uh yeah i definitely think this one's a stinker but glad to have finally watched it i guess but yeah that's garbage pale kids movie anyways guys i'll see y'all next week peace